1. Aaron received unrestrained access to the founding titan's power after speaking with Emer. After Aaron used Zeke in order to enter the paths, he found Emer and spoke with her about the merits of freedom. Since his sentiments resonated with her, she chose him over his half-brother despite the man's royal blood and connection to King Fritz. Consequently, Aaron gained the unrestrained power of the founding titan and complete control of the Eldian race. Once he awakened the titans within the walls, the coming casualties would be unavoidable and appallingly high. Moreover, the catastrophe solidified parody as an enemy of humanity. 10. The homunculi are deadly in a variety of ways, Full Metal Alchemist. All of the homunculi from Full Metal Alchemist could easily act as nightmare fuel. Not only are they hard to beat in battle since it's extremely difficult to kill them. But each of them has a range of abilities. Some of them can shape shift while others use their powers to do things, such as gluttony eating people alive or lust extending her hands into talons to kill enemies. No matter what type of abilities the homunculi have, however, they are not beings one should be trying to approach unless they're an expert alchemist or fighter like Roy Mustang. 9. No face can morph into a gigantic monster spirited away. No face is the antagonist of spirited away. When provoked, it can turn into a truly terrifying, gigantic monster that wreaks havoc and destruction. He evokes much fear due to embodying the real-world consequences of greed, and his unpredictability chilled audiences to the bone. If anyone wants to fight against No Face, they will have a bad time trying to defeat him and his unpredictable ways. 8. The angels are not sweet and innocent beings Neon Genesis Evangelion When most people think of angels, they think of benevolent beings that do good in the world. However, that is not the case in Neon Genesis Evangelion. These 16 angels in the series have a plethora of abilities that wreak destruction and chaos wherever they go. Considering how much trouble the protagonists had with defeating them, no normal person would survive going up against the angels, nor should they try. 7. The Yoma are created from the flesh of orphan boys Claymore. Claymore features evil winged beings called the Yoma, and what's even creepier than what they are is how they're made. The Yoma are created from the flesh of orphan boys. They also eat human flesh and blood and can shapeshift into human beings to blend in with innocent, unknowing humans who won't recognize them until it's too late. Even when damaged, they can regenerate and quickly recover, making them hard to beat in any battle. Encountering a Yoma alone would mean certain doom. 6. Drosselmeyer will manipulate anyone for a good story Princess Tutu. Drosselmeyer at first seems like a benevolent being in Princess Tutu, but it's quickly revealed that he's manipulating all the people around him. As well as the protagonist and her friends, to create a story for his own benefit. Though his powers sound awesome, the fact that he's manipulating actual people and not simply fictional characters makes him terrifying. He cares nothing for the emotional well-being of the other characters as long as he gets a fascinating story from using them. 5. Kayaba Akihiko imprisoned everyone in Aincrad Sword Art Online. No matter how nice Kayaba Akihiko might seem, he did imprison all of the characters in the virtual world of Aincrad in Sword Art Online. He even set the world so that if someone died in the game, they died in real life. Additionally, he disguised himself as the character Heathcliff and led the strongest guild in the game called the Knights of Blood. Manipulating countless people into working and dying for him including Asuna and Kirito to an extent. Though he can't eat people in one swoop as titans can, he certainly can lead many people to their demise. 4. Yubo manipulated Jaden into killing his friends for love Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Yubo brainwashed Jaden in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX because she was in love with him and wanted him to love her back. 
Unfortunately, this also led to her manipulating him into killing most if not all of his friends. By the end of the third season, Yubel and Jaden ended up being permanently fused together. But Yubel acted less as a villain for the rest of the show and more like a guide of sorts. Some fans weren't happy with this outcome considering what Yubel made Jaden do while she had him under her control. 3. Medusa raised Krona to be a killer soul leader. Medusa cares nothing for others in soul leader, her own child, Krona included. Not only did she abuse Krona while he was growing up and raise him to be a killer, but she also manipulated many other people in the series. Medusa's abilities as a witch, coupled with her smarts, make her one of the scariest villains in the entire series. She might not be as tall as a titan. But she knows what she's up to and how to manipulate almost anyone. 2. Maruam tried to turn a nation into an serving soldiers Hunter x Hunter. Maruam was the main antagonist during Hunter x Hunter's Chimera and Ark. During his reign of villainous tyranny, he tried to turn an entire nation of people into an serving soldiers, or send them to death if the attempts failed. His forces are the reason that fan-favorite hunters such as Pockle and Kite ended up dying. Chairman Netero even ended up fighting Maruam to the death in one of the most devastating battles in the entire franchise. 1. Light Yagami's good intentions turned into a god-complex death note. Light Yagami is one of the scariest anime villains due to his cunning intelligence, as well as the death note he wields. Even though he started his journey with the Death Note with good intentions, to rid the world of evil, he ended up developing a God Complex later on in the series. This God Complex led to several of his biggest failures. Allowing Nier and the other characters to find out that Light was Kira. 